20 minute mark of the third quarter. Craig Smith taking the rucking jewels on, hits it beautifully. He's going to have a shot at an open goal. Straight right across the face of goals for a point. Now yeah, it seems to be Riverside's turn to be a little bit looser than Dara. I mean, that, that was a very difficult kick, but we, we are starting to uh, be a bit straight out the points scores. And, yeah, Riverside have been very good in the middle of the field. Yeah, they've been very good in the middle of the field. Yeah, they've been very good in the middle of the field. Yeah, Big Shane's going to clean him up. He's going to mold He's got no backup work. Right. He's big Shane. The man keeps putting pressure on. The minor of ease. He's got a reach like David six Mara goals. Gets in there. <laughs> Troy Hands, six Troy goals. Hands. There's no one home. There's no one home. Will it go? Will it go? Yes! yes. 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 Go on, Will it? Will it? Yes! Will it go? You can put that down the same way. Brilliant. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Unbelievable stuff. We we did uh, have to do one thing wrong in the fact that we had no one down there to compete. But Shane Lawson's uh, endeavour to make sure that they didn't run the ball out and keep the ball in the area created that opportunity. That it, once once more, it could have been it's those sort of things that win grand finals. And, and the man's, uh, as I said, he's got to reach like a sick dog. You just can't get past him. Someone here from Brighton's coming off. Obviously, got too close to Mal Carpenter. Yes, he's, he looks like he's got a, a broken wing or something or other. He's, a, he's not moving too well. It could be a collarbone. Gee, uh, Let's hope so. That is a shame. Uh, back to the game. Big Shane's up, and he's going to make a meal of this. And he's down to Harvey. Yeah. Yeah, he swings on the left. Ferguson's got a big chance. Oh, okay. Craig Smith he reads it off hands beautifully. Troy hands back to Craig. Bit of over the around. Troy. Oh, um, bad. Had Crimmage. Had Crimmage. Had Craig. Craig Smith. A lot of vision. Not kicking long for the ball. He actually looked for Troy. If only Troy could have done the same thing and found Crimmage. Yeah, it would have been a walking goal. I think Craig should have probably had a go. That is well done. Yeah, this is an had plenty of time. I think he took the better option. But, but Troy, in his defence, I mean, it's, it's very hard in those pressures. You can't sum up uh, everything in two seconds. And he True. probably didn't uh, have the vision from the. Or the benefit of the vision from up in the green zone, I would have. Well, I uh, can't David Marta, sure. good effort. No, the ball's still in play. I would have done the same as Troy and had a shot myself. Bang, bang, oh, oh, big shot. Yeah. That's the sort of stuff that wins me in the final. Go now, sing it over the back to Austin. Oh, it's over the back to Critter. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, good stuff. Shane Lawson. Good point. Shane Lawson, good effort. And finds Critter. Critter will look at this. And he'll go. It's pretty obvious at this stage that our Brighton just cannot handle physical football. They're a, they're a running side. If you stop their run with a bit of body, they just stop there. They start panicking. I think that big guy there for the last half will be going for for a while as well. Big fat high would be would be absolutely vomiting. He'd be that nauseous oh, now. And I think Krimmer possibly would be too after that. He, he... Krimmer has not kicked a goal so far in the yeah. match. And the man, the man is uh, probably one of our six goals. In the six goals a game at least. If the man normally uh, finds the mark. Ball going to the outer, the defensive side of the ground. Dave Austin Good beautifully match. punches down in front. Krimmer beats the body card. Uh, yeah. oh, and I'm lucky not to get a free then, because the, the Brighton player wanted to carry on with him. Krimmer, sorry. Short for Krimmer Norman for those viewers that don't know. <laughs> and so there's a toss up there on the uh, R4 flank, about 45. Uh, Dave, out I would say Brighton's going one way loose in defence because Dave Clark's oh, sitting on the wheel. Craig Smith has done three superb tap downs to our players on that very part of the ground over there between half forward and forward pocket. Three of them could, could quite easily or conceivably uh, gain Riverside goals. And that's, that's remarkable about that palming skills that he has. And, uh, if you keep an eye on that, he, he doesn't waste. Look at that, eyes on the ball, eyes on the ball. He can kick it from here. And I'm going to take JD's chance here. Dave Austin lines up for his third goal of the quarter. He's about 45 metres out, straight in front of goals, with a slight wind at the back. Here he comes, on his left foot. Running in, it's a nice kick off. It's a nice, play. easy kick. Looks nice. Easy kick. Oh, it's over the line. It's over the line. The man's a six point. The man's going to be called six. Oh, that's on him. Clarky, Brighton, Brighton have lost control. Brighton have lost control. They're showing, they're showing the same intelligence that their uh, coaches showed, showed us a couple of times this season. They have not got the skill to match with Riverside, so they're going to come uh, the raw form with Rivers, and I think they might find themselves lacking in that regard. In the back of hand, as you've walked up, you just let him know that was your goal, buddy. Sorry, yeah, see but, you next year. But good to see the players all getting in there and making sure that uh, uh, nothing nasty occurred to their well, players. 
they're starting at every time. I think they're, they're trying to slow game. down Ruby's run. Yeah. They're trying, <laughs> trying to tactically slow him down their play. The stuff that Damien Clark come in there and just added a bit of body and a bit of strength and said, listen here, fella, he's wearing the right colour jumper. You watch out or next time you get near the ball, you might have, have a bit of a problem. Well, little Damien, but he's brought up between the smokestacks down the tap room, but he doesn't take it from anybody, but he's going straight back. It's pretty good game. Here we go, with 25 minutes left. Yeah. Yeah, mate, just entering time on Riverside, 11, 12, 78. To Brighton, five goals nine. A very handy. Yeah, Let me work this out. Thirty-nine point lead. And Brighton now with a chance. Oh, but the tackle. That's got to be terrible. Unbelievable, unbelievable decision. All day. That is terrible. It's only a little bit fifty yarder for that. that. That's just inconceivable. Well, bloody joke. They have been all year. The perfect tap tackle to the hips, and the man gets a free away. Big Chad's there. Oh, oh look at the other man. Desperation. Oh, Bang over to the boundary line, control with Brock. Oh, yes. Might have been a tap fortune of their day, lost. And more and more. Oh, Damien Clark's not going to not gonna let anyone get an easy kick in there either. He's gone in there full pelt. Beautiful. They've got their lives on the line. They know that they have to put the that's, body in. That's beautiful. That's They've beautiful. got six months to rest before they play another game. Very impressed young Damien Clark then. Again, committed the body in. He was going to be in there when it was all happening. So that, that's a, that's good for a young player to be able to get in there and not be overawed by some of these older players. Oh, he's, he's done it again. Know. He's only done it again. Can you believe there's umpires? He is going to make a game of it, with it whether it kills him or not, this, this umpire. Well, it's on in the centre here. Well, and Vic Kerry Kerry is going to be in that play. Play. Now the ball's still in play oh, though, so the boys have got to be a little bit controlled. Number seven here tonight. Oh, Chad, 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 Mark on the half-back line. Now, Kerry might have to just watch himself here. He might find himself having a little bit of a rest. He's being warned, I think. I think he's being warned. The umpire's chasing him. So he's just got to get back on with the game a bit now. Right, Damien, get in there, fella. He's, he's working hard to get at the player. He's, he's still in. The bloke will panic because he knows he's going to wear one. 17, he's banged it on the boot. And they, they do have a goal. So, so Riverside probably just have to focus back on the, on the game a little bit now and they just did. just take a bit of control back. Yeah, they, they need to forget about the fights and just concentrate on the footy. Keep at it. Kerry Hanley too. Riverside just cannot cannot have this man off the ground for too long. Bearing in mind, Kittle is missing. We're, we're uh, probably one one spare short man down the line or on the ball. So we can't really afford to have a, a key down the line player having off 15 the or 15 the rest degrees. of the game off. So it's back now. Big Shane will take back control again. Fest is an area of sort of blue. We'll set them down. It's typical of Kerry Hanley. He ran all the way from the back line. He's probably small and made out. He's been held upon by a big guy. That's, That's got to be it. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. That must be Jordan Gilman. On the left foot. Sinks it down. Looking for Mark Evans. They've spoiled themselves. They've done well, Brighton. Dave Austin. Oh, Brighton crashes for them. He's done well. He looks for me now, Pauline. No, he's got to clean him up now. No, he's got a bit of control. Pick him up in the centre, Rudy's. Oh, done now. Number two didn't really want to make a full body coming at him. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful play. Beautiful. That's, that's the value of having committed players. That number two, then he just propped for a while. He thought, do I want to wear this or not? And I think he took the uh, the not option. Could have over the back here as a possibility. Yes, get it back, Chad. Get it yes, back. yes. Oh, no. that was the intention. But oh, yeah. Oh, oh, just pirouettes up. once more. Look, shows you the ball. Oh, look at yeah, that. Three will try again. Oh, look at the bounce. And Cruz is on. He's chance to make up the men's view. On the left foot. He's off his left. Gets heaven. And he's oh, back. Oh, he's back. Beautiful play by the Cruz. Beautiful. 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 The body to take, to take that extra bit of time. This is going to be it's a tricky so shot at goal for Dave. He's on his left foot. On a very sharp, sharp angle. Much of the glory's got to go to the Mount Carpenters and the blokes that were working down on the wing here to keep that ball. Could have down. He wasn't sure what brand yeah. of football it was, so he yeah, showed the Brighton guy and asked him. <laughs> and he, he didn't know, so he asked the other guy. The third bloke told him that he had his kick. He's only done. It's his fourth shot. The man was going to go to Ethelman this year. Then he decided to go to the track and a bit uh, higher class of football with his mate Damien Clark. And the man that hasn't come down off the uh, cloud nine since last week, have a look at him. I think the tactic worked to turn him that we were actually videoing this game and he looked good on colour TV. He well, seems to have grown about four legs out there. I, th I think earlier in the game, he might have just been a tad nervous, but, but as the game's grown, he, he's, he's grown in stats tremendously. He's, as you say, has he kicked four this quarter? Again? Four this quarter, five in total for the game. Five goals from the wing. What do you, what do you want? I don't think I could do that in my day. Mm, I don't think you could find a wing shot. <laughs> 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 and 
on their up. Chad's up there. A very, very good goal there just to settle the side. David Marto's done well. Troy Hess pushing it through. Critter on the left. And he'll feed it inboard to Ferguson. Oh, just a bit of bad luck. But they're still running for it. Kraminski and Critter are there. Working well together. Critter's going to the free. He should really have got it. He got hit in the head. He may have played for it, but I think the three was there. The, 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 the siren must sound. That siren must go. <laughs> minute and a half. Oh, well, there's a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Riverside 12 12, Brighton 6 9. Very handy lead. Oh, here's pressure. Here's pressure. Bang. It's got to be one here. It's got to be one. Oh, that oh, yeah. oh, yeah. took, took the soft action. Very, very soft. Oh, and Greg is waiting against him. He's running about time. It doesn't matter where you finish on the ladder, how good you look during the year. These guys just haven't got the guts to report that out. Well, Dave Ross is smirking at the back there. He's a danger again. Oh. Now that's, now that's good stuff, that's held that in there. We've got a minute to go, we could slam one on here and, and really the, the convince... Tra the trainer's gone out to number 17 and just given that free away and he's adjusted his dress. Yeah, he's now lifting it up a little bit higher. He's now, the, put his finger out. Riverside River sort of game composure, now the, the blue one's over and they know what the real stuff's about. And let's get the score on the board. Oh, look at that, and soft and bright, very soft. Could have, uh, just a little bit of a back kick there. Dave Marto, who catches this. Yeah, eyes on the ball all the way. Not very Looking good. for someone now, look yeah. at that vision. Finds Troy Hands in oh, the centre. Oh, Dave, give him a good voice. Perhaps he did. Dave Austin going for the pitch. And they got the handball out. Saw the Marty Howe in the pocket. Yeah. No, his commitment to commitment to Dave Austin can't be, can't be pressured. He's just a strong guy for the all-cross sort of guy. Yes, and Paul, oh, isn't it? Very good. Beautiful quarterback. And we'll just... Uh, we might just head down there. Well, that was a, uh, a very idea. interesting quarter. I think um, uh, the Brighton boys started to throw a few around the ears and the Riverside boys decided, well, if, if we win the game, we might as well win the fight too. So they finished the fight off quickly, got back on with the game, and they're still on top. Okay. All right, end of the third quarter, we have Riverside. 12 goals, 12, 84. Yeah. Brighton, 6 goals, 9, 45. A lead of 39 points. Head to this uh, final quarter of the 1992 grand final. Uh, Harvey's asked his men to, to wear a few bruises because obviously it's worth it to win a grand final. And Holland just ran off the deep end, uh, using expletives that we won't repeat, and sort of threatened to resign, which would be a, a good thing for football in general. Up goes the ball. Big Chad's in there again. Flicks over the top. Critter and Fester are working hard. Fester in again. Brighton now have the ball in the uh, grandstand wing. The left foot goes across. Marty Martinovic covering it. Sees it out. And sees it over the line. Starling's there, the sun's, the sun's quite bright now, looking into it, Chad Lawson goes to the line again, he's got all done. Yeah, he doesn't care how much time that ball spends in the crowd. You've got no one on his feet. And again, both of them looking straight into the sun, jostling going on, shows no side. That's the Kramer, I'm making up with the three. The ball goes in towards Mark Captain, who is in front and has uh, he's been quite the man of shells on three or four occasions in the one instant. That's pretty hard to do. That's a nice one. Could have been coming out of the league. Found Ferguson. Well, that's maybe. Oh, and it's uh, number. Ferguson's there. Uh, I think he's really much from that leg then. But the ball now dangerously out at, at centre half forward proper. The ball's kicked over. Oh, and it's danger for him, so that there. You need too much space. Six goals through in front of it. Long way to go. I think it's a bit of a fluke, the bruise, but while we were down there at three quarter time, just having a bit of a listen, it seemed to be fairly strong that wind, so the bruise can't be straight up, be straight And uh, only a point. A comforting sight for the winner side people. You can't blame their bad kicking for not winning, we've kicked all those things. Well, went down and uh, I heard Steve Highwood, Highwood at three quarter time. Yeah. I thought they were going to call the uh, ambulance for him. He was chucking a bit. He was absolutely livid. The man's ready now to strike. He's, he's threatened to resign. I, I heard that uh, bleeding out. Bob Willoughby thinks he's got veins in his head. 
Yeah. That's another Hollywood. Yes, uh, Bob's the one Gordon below Franklin, but this this bloke uh, he's unbelievable. Speaking of characters, I seen a red light flashing down there. I thought there was something wrong, but I found it was uh, Lee Crawshaw down there having a few beers. And then uh, <laughs> Amaro uh, said hello to Lee while down there in the Riverside Crown. He's down here supporting. Yeah, Amaro, a bit unfortunate there. The breeze may have uh, curled that one over the line, so Gordon with the ball at uh, uh, their half back line. Kicks in towards the centre. Harvey lines himself up. We were still on the Austin Strong, straight through the, the ball. Out to the wing. Marty in there again with the body to Looking help support. Fergie. Fergie Fergie good control of the ball. Craig Straightens up Steely. the centre. Sees Kraminski. Well, Kraminski does reasonably well with three or four opponents, but he's only holding the ball in. That's what, uh, that's what counts. And a bit of trouble here is Hanley. He's found himself out of position just a little bit on that occasion, which is fairly real. Gordon now swinging around to the left. Now Carpenter fighting for front position. Marty got it down. Beautiful. Marty, Marty, Marty. Experienced stuff, Marty Martin, but he's played in plenty of finals for the side. And he, he just finds himself over. He uh, wouldn't have done it on the purpose, but he found himself over oh, the ground. Awesome. This would have to be Marty's uh, seven or eight green final, would it be, from the side for the club? A tremendous name. I'm maybe I'm exaggerating. He deserves it. I told you a million times, JD, not to exaggerate. <laughs> He's got the ball, out it goes, and Riverside plays in there, strong, pretty, pretty in there, battling away. Pretty hard to tell who's in the bottom there. Not in there. Um, no, Critter. Yep, Critter definitely in the bottom end, Marty Howie. Big Chad there in front. Riverside, that's all I've got to do, just keep it out on that starvation wing out there. And uh, a six goal lead. With oh, well done, four mate. To go. No, no, he's good. found it out there again. The, the, the boots are in, and this time they call it. So uh, that, I think that'll be the first of the day, uh, Ian Day. What do you think? Uh, yes, he's found the bright lad at uh, half four. So, and this is uh, the first of the day. Oh, he's sunk a big top. He's got he's a, a huge top. Oh, oh, very unfortunate. He's played on. He's played on. He's thrown the ball out. Riverside in desperation. Possum's in there. Oh, it's on here, it's on here, he's on here, and here comes Marty. Mark Evans, oh, that's all right. He's done the right thing, he's gone. Oh, no. Very close, though. Our players are, I suppose you can't blame them, you can't see everything, but he did see the one that's pretty good. Unfortunately, they got the second one again. Yeah, always the retaliation. These umpires, they can never pick the first one. Marty Martinovic, one of the game's greatest gentlemen, is has been, uh, has been caught. 